What's happening you guys? Welcome to a brand new video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nathan and welcome to my channel Supreme Fishing where I'm bringing you guys all of the Southeast Florida fishing content and in today's video I'm actually going to be fishing off the pier but I'm going to be doing a voiceover within the video because there was like I just threw my GoPro on and I was recording all day because we were catching so many fish. I didn't have time to pull this camera out and film like an intro an outro and explain to you guys what's going on. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover within my video. That way you guys can have a little context as to what's going on. So let's get right to it. So we're fishing on the pier and it was absolutely nonstop action this day I was fishing. And all I was throwing all day long was the X-Wrap. And we were catching everything from mackerel, ladyfish, jacks. Uh, there were some snook around, some bigger snook around because there was a giant bait pod the, that they were chasing. And there was pretty much everything you could think of that was on this bait pod and all day I was throwing the X-Wrap and it was just non-stop action. So I quickly realized that uh, throwing the X-Wrap would be my way to go. So literally my first cast, I cast it and I hooked into a mackerel and it was the biggest one for the day. And I did catch a few more later on in the day, which you guys are gonna see in today's video. But like I totally lost count of how many fish we were actually catching. Right there. First cast. <laughs> oh, Big Mac, Big Mac. Yeah, no, I missed him. Yeah. If this is your first time watching my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So the setup I'm using is a 7.6 star rod paired with a Shimano Sienna, probably one of the best reels I've used for the price, uh, the price point for $30 and this is probably one of the best reels for $30 that I could find and I've been using these reels for years and they don't break on me. So 
uh really really awesome reels if you guys are looking for a budget reel that'll get the job done definitely get a shimano sienna so i'm running 20 pound test braid on this setup with 40 pound leader just with an fg tied straight to the x-wrap and i if you guys uh noticed on the shimano sienna they come with the t knob for the regular knob i installed the power knob from gomexis uh from amazon and i installed that on there because it makes it so much easier uh, for cranking power and everything like that. Yeah. Okay. Want him? Yeah, okay. No, no, I don't want him. And that's what happens when you get a ladyfish on the x ray Oh my gosh, another one? What the heck? Every cast. Oh yeah, that's bluefish, man. Oh wait, no, it's a mac. Mambo. Mac, yeah. So at the end of the day, I took about an hour to clean all the fish that I caught. Uh, I think I kept at least eight jacks. For those of you that may not know, jacks are actually pretty good if you know what you're doing with them. You definitely don't want to clean these guys whole because what happens is that bloodline gets left inside the fish and when you cook it with a fish, it doesn't taste that great. So what I do is I fillet the jacks and I will take that bloodline out and then I will remove all the bones, remove all the bloodline and the jacks actually taste pretty good. So I ended the day off with Ajax 
and I filleted those up. And then I also finished the day off with two mackerel on the x wrap. Uh, it was kind of difficult to get on the mackerels. There was a lot around, but the problem is, but if you throw your x wrap in the water, you're gonna, if the mackerel, if you don't throw it right in front of the school of the mackerel, you're gonna get a jack or you're gonna get a ladyfish or something like that. So overall, just so many fish caught in today's video. I had such an awesome time, probably one of my best days of pier fishing. And the, the crazy part is it was all on artificial, nothing on live bait. I did catch a bunch of live bait inside of a well and I had it there and I didn't even touch it. At the end of the day, I was like, why did I even waste my time? I just threw, I was throwing X, the X-Wrap all day and I was getting tight. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If this is your first time, and you've reached all the way to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions or concerns for me with today's video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos. See you guys on the next one.